Welcome, bienvenidos. This is Roxana for Metamorphosis Roxana. Now we have comment number four. As seen on Twitter, I am thinking that I am going to let you know where I've seen them, especially in the cases where I might not, dis uh, I might decide not to show you the screenshot for whatever reason. But this one, I want to show you the screenshot. And I am going to read directly from the screenshot. So here's the thing. Um, the reason why I decided to get a, take a look at this was because of the last one that I quote tweeted. There was one final tweet on this tweet thread, but it was basically talking about the people that had commented on the thread as a whole. The person did this comment much later, and it didn't add anything to the conversation. So I'm just going to read you what it says, and I'm going to react to it as I read it in terms of what my reaction was to what he's, this person said. So this person said, sorry, both quote teapot and quote vibe camp are not for me. I know and like, even adore maybe five people in this milieu who I'm friends with in real life. But as a sociological entity, I personally think it's extremely childish and degenerate. No clue what that means. So I don't have a opinion one way or the other. First, I'm unimpressed with the higher visibility accounts in this corner. Smart and provocative tech dudes over the age of 18 should not post from behind fake names. I get why, but it's cowardly. If you have earning power, man up and sign your name by your speech. So here's the thing about accounts on social media. People have a right to have whatever name they want to have on their social media. And I do know that in some places it has been said that it should be illegal. And in some cases it is illegal for you to use a fake name supposedly. But here's the thing. If I, for example, work for a company that doesn't want me to have an online presence and I want to have an online presence, I'm probably going to create a sock account. It is what it is. Some people create sock accounts because they have relationships in real life where it is dangerous for them to be on social media and that's why they have that. Like, for example, if you are a survivor of any kind of DV, more than likely, you're going to have a sock account because you don't want that person knowing what you're posting. So the whole idea that it is cowardly, yeah, that's your opinion. That doesn't add anything to society. Next, quote, free love, unquote, and loose sex are almost by definition loose ethics and therefore evil. This absurdly contradicts this milieu's admiration for things like going to Mars and, quote, long-termism, end quote. Keeping your dick in your pants is the first step of low time preference. I don't even know what this is talking about, but if they're talking about the fact that people having whatever sex they want to have is a evil, you all know how I feel about that. This whole idea, first of all, you all know, and if you don't know, you know now, that when it comes to personal lives, it's not my business. If somebody's married and has three girlfriends, it's none of my business. Do I judge them? Sometimes I do, depending on the person. Probably if I like the wife and the husband's cheating, I'm probably going to have a problem with it or vice versa. But in general terms, I don't get involved in that because there's so many cases where there's an open marriage or there's an understanding between the wife and the husband or the husband and the husband or the wife and the wife. And I'm not going to get involved in that because it's not my business. So no, I don't think that's evil in and of itself. So if that's what they're talking about, then no, I don't agree with you. This is where it got my attention. Finally, if you're a man over 30, you should have one wife, maybe five good male friends max, in a wider circle of male acquaintances with whom you compound value through long-term positive sum alliances. That's it. No adult man should want to, quote, make friends, end quote. Big red flag. <sighs> okay. So here's the thing. I don't know if you know this, but my mother had Alzheimer's, dementia, and she died thanks to it. Okay? And the reason why I say she died thanks to it is because she got sick and because of the dementia, she couldn't actually express what was happening. So by the time we figured it out, it was too late. It had turned into sepsis and it killed her. Now, having said that, there is 
a lot of evidence and there is a lot of advice in terms of dementia and staving off dementia and whatnot that says that you should have as many interactions with humans as possible in order to avoid uh, or at least slow down the process of dementia. Now, the other thing that I want to say is that if you're a man over 30, you should have whatever you want. I don't care what it is. And I don't see why this person has to try to talk over your head. Every time I see somebody start using like really fancy terms like positive sum alliances and whatnot, yeah, you're trying to sound more intelligent than you really are and you're getting on my last nerve. So I cannot wait to see what you people think about this particular comment. Let me know in the comment section below. Bye.